When you're typing a paragraph of text, you might find that you need to temporarily realign the text so that it doesn't go from margin to margin. This video shows you how to do various types of alignments, or realignments, indentations of text. Let's start off with regular indentations, what I'll call them. You could indent the left side of your text or the right side of your text. You probably wouldn't do that. Or you might indent both the left and right side, do a double indentation, and that would be used for quotations that were three lines or more long. That's very common in academic work. Let's go look at an example to see how this would work in reality, left, right, and double indentations. Here's some regular text. First of all, on the first paragraph, you can tell where the margin is because the blue area on the ruler bar indicates the left margin, and the blue area on the other side indicates the right margin. The margin is where typing does not occur. You notice that I have my zoom in such a way that I can see the edge of my paper and my margin. Let's do a left indentation. I'll come down to that paragraph. You probably wouldn't use it because if you were doing an outline, you would probably have it set up with bullets of some kind, but let's pretend. I'm going to triple click on this paragraph to select it. Did you know that you can do that? There are several ways, but that's a convenient way. If your ruler bar had not been turned on, you might want to go turn it on. You can either go up to View Ruler, or if you come over to the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see a small button that actually is a picture of a ruler, if you can believe that. And you can View Ruler to turn it on if it's not on. When you turn your ruler bar on, you will see what I like to call a house. This house has a, it's kind of a squashed house. It has a first floor and a second floor with a peaked roof and a chimney that's upside down. See on the top of the roof, do you see? On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see what is the right margin indicator and a right indentation indicator. And you can either make that the doghouse, or if you're an older person, you might think of it as the outhouse, which seemed to be about that far away. The way you make a left indentation, let's go back to the left side of the screen, is to put your mouse pointer, the tip of the pointer, up in to the first floor of the house until it's in the house on the first floor. And you'll notice that you'll get a tooltip that says left indentation. The second floor of the house is called hanging indent, and the chimney is called first line indent. We'll come to those. Let's go back to the left indent. And you can just click and drag the entire house with chimney will come over, I don't know, let's go half an inch. And you'll notice that what has happened is your text down here has moved over half an inch from the margin. The margin has not changed, only your indentation has changed. Let's do the same thing with the right indent. We'll triple click to select it. We'll come up to the doghouse on the right hand side of the screen and the ruler. Put your mouse inside until you get that tool tip. And let's make a, oh, I don't know, 1.5 inch indentation on the right hand side. It looks pretty funny, doesn't it? As I said, you probably wouldn't use this in reality. But for this, you certainly would. If you had a double indentation for a long quotation that's three lines or longer, let's do both the left and the right indentation, and it would be by half an inch, was the typical amount. 
We'll triple click to select that paragraph. We'll go up on the left hand side and get the left indentation tooltip and click and drag over. The trickiest part of this procedure is getting your mouse to grab the right piece of that house. And on the right hand side, we'll grab the dog house and drag it back to the left by half an inch. And now you'll see that we have, it's not centered. It almost looks centered, doesn't it? But it's not centered text. Let me show you what centered would look like. I'll run up and grab the centering button on the Home tab. That's what centered would look like. This is left aligned, but double indented. You use that for a long quotation. Let's go on to the next kind of indentation. The second category of indentations could be called special indentations. There are two kinds. There's a first line indent that you would use at the beginning of a paragraph, or a hanging indent that you would use on your Works Cited page. This is the one that most students have trouble with because it's used the least. Let's go back and look at the Word document and see how we can do a first line indent. We'll triple click to select a pair. I'm going to move this right so it's right up near the top of the ruler there. We'll triple click to select the paragraph and then I'm going to come up to the chimney this time until I get the first line indent tooltip. Remember you have to put the point of the mouse right inside and I'll click and drag over to half an inch. That's the first line indent. If you do your first paragraph with a first line indent, when you press the Enter key, the next paragraph will also be indented the same way. That's very convenient. Let's do the hanging indent then. The hanging indent is what you use for Works Cited, and this is probably the trickiest one to get, but just because you have to get that point of the mouse cursor right up into the peak of the house, of the second floor of the house, and call it hanging indent. We'll click and drag that over. And now you see that whereas first line indent, the first line is indented and the others are at the margin, and a hanging indent, the first line is at the margin and the other lines are indented. No more pressing the Enter key at the end of the line and press the tab at the new line. No more of that. You type all of your works cited, select them all at once, format them as hanging indent, then you can go up on the Home tab and sort them. They'll sort for you automatically and they'll all be sorted correctly, assuming that you only press the Enter key once at the end of each citation. You could do a left indentation a double indentation, a first line indentation, or a hanging indentation. And these would realign the text temporarily while leaving the margin as it was.